Hello there, Taylor with the Armageddon Report. This is Drought Thursday, and why is it Drought Thursday? Because that's when the drought information gets updated. Now, I've just thought of something. Yes, I'm going to scrape this data today. I'm going to figure out how, and then I'll put it, you know, last week compared to the current week, and then I'll have it green, it's red, so you can easily pass if it's getting better or worse. So I will tell you this, for the contiguous United States, the number of areas in the D0 through D4, so any type of dryness, not necessarily officially drought, has gone down. Also, the areas in official drought, the percentage has gone down. However, the areas that are in D3 and D4 status has gone up. So, that sucks, basically. We also have a new, this has been, I think they released these twice a month, seems to be, because the last one, I think, was around July 19th or something. Well, they've got the three month, is it three month? It can't count anyway. The seasonal drought outlook map though, you can see Arizona expecting some improvements. So how about that? And over here, now of course, if we get a couple of hurricanes to dump buckets and buckets of water, you know, there'll be lots of improvement. There will be flooding, right. And if you go back down here, you can see here's the, from the Climatological Prediction Center, the long range type stuff. So, you know, above average temperatures is not what you want to see in the summer, and then below average rainfall is not what you want to see over there, which there's a lot of that. The precipitation is kind of mixed, so I don't know. But, you know, above average temperatures for most of the country. But yes, down here or up here, I will figure out how to scrape that data, and I will put comparison charts if you want to go hang out there later. Right, cyclone news. We've got a whole bunch of storms. We've got this one over in the Atlantic Tropical Depression 5, which was supposed to be originally predicted to be Tropical Storm Ernesto by now, but the National Hurricane Center has put it back. I don't, can't think of the word. They've dropped off how intense they think Ernesto is going to be. In fact, they've even dropped Ernesto becoming a hurricane because Ernesto was supposed to become a hurricane, I think, around here so possibly not going to be hurricane ernesto however the path still saying definitely going to become a tropical storm and that's when it will get the name ernesto it will be i can never think of that word it will get it will be born it's tropical storm ernesto except for the fact that it was born ages ago out near africa anyway tropical storm solid typhoon damn let's go back over this way so there we go, we've got, the, we'll talk about that shortly, but we've got Damri over here, which is not a category one hurricane, ignore that. And then we've got Tropical Storm Salah, both of these making impact to China right now. Back here, this is Tropical Depression unnamed because uh, they don't, like, this is pulled from the JMA. In fact, if you click on one of these points, it will give you the source as JMA. And if you can see this red thing, that's the JTWC is still not calling it a storm. They're just calling it a high chance of tropical cyclone formation as of now. But so the JMA, I guess, does not name their storms until it reaches tropical storm status. So that's why it's being called tropical depression unnamed. You know, as opposed to over here, the United States National Hurricane Center names them with numbers. So we've got tropical depression five as opposed to unnamed. Yes. And then back here, we've got spaghetti models 90. WP, WP for Western Pacific. So there's something, uh, you know, that could turn into something, but the JTWC has not put an outlook area on it right now. This is what they call a floater, I think. So they've got satellite coverage of it so they can pay attention to it, so they can monitor it from space. I don't know. So that's what's going on right now. So we might have some potential impacts to either China, maybe even Taiwan, if it really goes off the path of where the spaghetti models are the same. The spaghetti models right now are basically saying potential impacts to Japan with that one. And that one, I believe, would be called Haikui. I can't pronounce that word either. Yes, active weather hazards. We've got severe thunderstorm washes. We've got a whole bunch of fire-related conditions. We've still got heat clinging on, all of the gray stuff, air quality alerts, severe thunderstorm washes over there. Here is where we've got the latest. Yes, uh, stuff is going on. Let's take a look at the watch page in a second. So here's just three slightly risk areas and stuff is already kicking off at the moment or whatnot. Severe thunderstorm watch, Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Wyoming, 9 p.m. Mountain Time tonight, Georgia and South Carolina until 8 p.m. Eastern Time tonight. Those are the current watches in effect. Here is the wind map where you can see here's your risk areas and 5% connecting all of them and a 5% over there. 
Here's the hail map, where again it looks kind of like a bicep that's being curled or whatnot. I don't know about that. Hail, so 15% is the highest chance, and then tornado chance. Just a tiny little error. So Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, and why? Did I just say South Dakota? South Dakota and Wyoming, combining the words, so it'd be why a coda or something would be the other version of that. Anyway, they've got the 2%. So for instance, that would mean this random point in South Dakota. There's a 2% chance that that random point or someone within the 25 mile radius of them will see a tornado today. So, pretty low chances, but it's still, you know, it's potential. Right, and we've got significant severe weather on tap potentially for tomorrow. So, the slight risk, oh, let's take a look at the probability map. So, North Dakota, Minnesota, South Dakota has the significant thing, and then a whole bunch of the country with the 5% over there, and then 5% there. So, when this, if you go and read through all of the text, you might be able to, sometimes they actually make it obvious what the significant severe weather threat is. So, uh, to, you know, give you an idea, that could mean instead of 58 mile per hour and greater winds, it's 75 mile per hour and greater winds. Instead of one inch of larger hail, it's two inch of larger hail. Instead of a tornado at all, it's an EF2, a greater tornado. Right, it's probably not the significant tornadoes, because, but... Anyway, tomorrow they will break it down and then we will know which one that is, who, who's expecting that and what it's going to be potentially. Right, that is really hard to see. Here's day three. Wisconsin basically has the slight risk. And then, so here's the, the probability map where you can see more areas than just the tiny one in the 5%. And days four through eight, we've still got this on the map. That'd be August 5th. They've got for like New York and Pennsylvania. In fact, basically it looks like it's almost entirely, almost all of New York and Pennsylvania is what I mean to say, with the long, the medium range. Right. Anyway, so there's something to keep an eye on. That could be something going on, obviously. I don't know. To be aware, the TV.com is the official home page of the screencast, blah, 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 blah. Right. Anyway, here's the page where if you want to watch the old ones for some reason, here's the drought page, here's the fun thing that looks like a keynote or a PowerPoint presentation or something. Completely worthless. Righto. Wix is W-I-C-K-E-D-W-X dot com. There's also the Storm Prediction Center, weather dot com. Cyclocane is C-Y-C-L-O-C-A-N-E dot com. In case you can't read, you know, I don't know why I spell these. It's just fun to say C-Y-C-L-O-C-A-N-E. Right. There's also, of course, the National Hurricane Center, Joint Typhoon Warning Center, which I found out recently apparently is not accessible outside of the U.S. How about that? So there's also the JMA, Japan Meteorological Agency, or wherever you're supposed to go for your regional stuff. That's where you go. Anyway, that's it for today. Right. That, that's the end. I don't have any kind of good endings. I just say, have fun, stay safe. Hopefully nothing terribly affects you.